welcome back to my channel, Faith's Garden. This is Faith. I hope you're all having a good day. Um, I know that you will hope to find some really good information about my experience with schizophrenia and dissociative identity disorder and uh, how I'm able to cope and move forward and move on with the help of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, he has been faithful to me, and I just thought you guys should know. Uh, I'm well loved and well cared for. Um, so I just wanted to dive in a little bit into what an, a fast can look like for someone who is, has, does have a mental illness and is working toward getting closer to the Lord and following Jesus and things of that nature. So I think it's super important to know that it's, it is possible for you to be able to do a fast and to get closer to the Lord. Now, full disclosure, it is not necessary for you to do a perfect fast in order to hear from the Lord. He's looking at your heart posture, okay? He's looking at those things. He's not looking at the outside, what you wear, what you do, um, your, your, um, your, your, your deeds, you know, in order to give you an answer for what you're praying for or to heal something. It, that's not what he's about. He's looking at your heart. Um, so, and once I realize that the Lord is looking at my heart during a fast and not really me getting it just right and being perfect, and I didn't have not one thing to eat, and I'm absolutely perfect. Um, whew. I just got a little headache, y'all. I don't know where that came from. That hurts. Okay. But he's not looking at those things. So, um, he's looking at your heart. You don't have to be perfect in a fast. And I feel like fasting is perfect for imperfect people. Okay. So, um, not perfection, but progress. Remember that in my other video? If you watch it, you know. <laughs> but uh, moving right along, I take medication for my schizophrenia. There is no medication that I take for dissociative identity disorder because there isn't a cure. And medication cannot help it. So I take medication for my schizophrenia. And... Um, I was able to fast, the Esther fast that you guys just saw in my last video, I was able to fast because of what, something my mom said, right? And this was something that was on my heart, like talking to God about how I felt like I couldn't do a fast. I was very afraid to, to do a full fast because I, I am taking medication and you have to eat with medication, so you can do a Daniel fast, but I was hoping to do something like the Esther fast, which is just like water. Some people do a dry fast, no food, no water. Um, but I did the Esther fast with water, as you saw in my last video. So, um, yeah, I was looking for answers about how I could do it. And, I, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm just not going to eat anything and I'm still going to take my medication. I want to remain faithful to my family as I take my medication. Um, because that's what my parents asked me to do, and I want to honor them. So, remain faithful in taking my medication, and I was just like, I'm going to take it, and I'm not going to eat any, anything with it. Um, so, I was doing that for like a day, and my stomach really, really hurt, y'all. It was kind of silly, but I, I believe that the Lord would sustain me. And then, you know, my mom calls me, like, out of the blue, and we're talking, and she's like, oh, so you're fasting, we get, we get to talking about that. And then she tells me, well, you need to eat. And I was like, shoot, I have to eat now because she told me that I have to. I want to honor my mother. And um, she said, yes, just look. Okay, this is the big thing, okay? This is the secret. Don't miss this. All you have to do, and my mom is, is a health specialist, okay? She is a nurse with a BSN, okay? Go mommy. That's my mommy. I love her so much. But, um, yeah, she said, all you have to do is look at the medication you're taking. Type in how many calories should I be taking in when I take my blah, 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 blah medication. 
and it should tell you. Mine, for all the medications that I take, 500 calories. So, um, that's what I did. I, whenever I took my medication, I made sure that I took in 500 calories, and I counted the calories. I'm not just all willy-nilly, but I wanted to do this fast the right way. I wanted to get as close as possible to him, and I wanted him to see my heart that I would be diligent in counting the calories. You know, I can't do a perfect fast right now, but who's to say in the future I can't? Um, but this is what I could do for now to show my father that I am serious about fasting. And I am serious about honoring my parents. And um, I'm just serious about getting closer to him. So I, I took in the 500 calories. And I did not eat, okay, a cheeseburger from Wendy's or a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Or french fries and greasy food and delicious yummies, okay? No delicious yummy. <laughs> That's funny to me, a delicious yummy. Anyway, no delicious yummies. I had crackers, I had trail mix, and I had some milk. Um, you can do, you can do anything like that. You can do crackers, you could do, um... A, a, a broth soup, you know, you could do uh, nuts and fruits and vegetables, you can do, um, you can do a slice of bread, you know, with a little bit of butter, no, you know, like, just things that are a little bit more toned down on the flavor palette, nothing too crazy, you know, I wanted him, I think, I believe that God will see our heart posture. So if you're going for like a cheeseburger from McDonald's, you know, maybe that's all you can afford. And so be it. Then go for the cheeseburger from McDonald's. But you really want to try to mellow it down. Uh, I think that worked best for me. Because I, I, I honestly felt like I did everything I possibly could do to show God that I am serious about doing this fast and getting closer to him. And there's nothing we could do to earn his love or his healing or his, his favor. You know, there's nothing we can do to earn it. But heart posture is important. Heart posture is important. He looks at the heart, you know. And I, I know that's, that's what I tried to do is to show him my heart. And that I cared about him, that I love him, that I want to do this, you know. So... Heart posture, no delicious yummies, and count those calories. That's how you do a fast. And that is golden information from a certified nurse. Okay? So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope you understand that it's not about being perfect in a fast, but he wants to see your heart. For all my people out there with schizophrenia, mental illness, dissociative identity disorder, paranoia, anxiety, depression, and you have to take medication, follow this, this guide on, follow, no, it's not a guide, follow like what my mom said about just taking those calories, make sure you look it up, each one of your medications, look up how many calories you need to ha take in, and then as, as you take your medication, eat those calories. Um, you definitely want to stay in prayer when you start to feel hungry, because if you're not taking, you know, it might be more difficult for somebody who's on more medication, uh, takes higher doses, but for me, I, I'm on a pretty steady low dose, um, and, um, yeah, it, you'll be hungry again is what I have to say. You know, whether you take your medication twice a day or once a day, some people take it three times a day, that's how many times you need to in take in those calories. And um, stay in prayer, because you will feel hungry. If you're, if you're on lower dose, you'll still feel hungry. Um, so stay in prayer. Ask the Lord to be your strength and your guide. Read the Word. Meditate on the Word. And... Um, you know, just all the great things that come with doing a fast. Prayer journal. Prayer journal. Prayer journaling is excellent. 
and especially for reflection as you go back and you read all the ways that God has changed your life or the Lord has made a difference in your life. Um, so, yeah. That's how you fast on medication. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you on your fasting journey and your relationship with God and the Lord. I hope that you find clarity and, 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 and hope in what it looks like to do a fast while you're on medication and taking medication. You do want to remain faithful to the people in your lives who are hoping that you are still taking your meds, your medication, and um, want to see you do well. Um, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye, guys. It's a bitter, bitter pill.